Welcome along guys. Well today is that video I've been promising for a little while. As you know there's a brand new Tuono 660 on the market and a lot of people are asking me how does it compare to this which is of course the Triumph Street Triple. Now this is the Street Triple R not the RS. The reason I'm on the R is it's because it's the most you know it's the closest in price to the new Tuono. This cost £9,100, whereas the Tuono cost £9,700. So this bike is actually cheaper. So I need to say a massive thank you to Destination Triumph for lending me the Street Triple R and Wheels Motorcycles for the loan of the Tuono 660. So it's English muscle versus Italian flair. Which one will be victorious? Chopsy, roll the intro. So starting on the... <laughs> Street Triple, oh, she's a bit low lively. The Street Triple, first of all, is 765cc. The Tuono is 659cc. So there's over 100 horsepower, 100 horsepower? 100 cc's of capacity more on the Street Triple. And of course, it's a triple, as the name would suggest. So it has three cylinders versus the Tuono's two cylinders. The feel and position on the on the street, it feels lively. The front end feels really uh, responsive, almost sort of over responsive. It's it, you know it's, it's very very lively at the front end, and compared to the Tuono, it feels a little bit not quite as uh, nice, maybe not quite as in control as the Tuono front end. So as I mentioned, the Tuono is a 650cc parallel twin. It's got like the uh, cross-plane crank equivalent engine in it. You know, it's uh, based on the RS660, obviously heavily based on the new RS660. Basically an RS660 with some higher bars and some slight other changes. One thing they've done to this bike, which I really, really like, it's a bit wet is they have moved the front wheel in closer to the radiator. I'm trying to keep it reasonably clean. <laughs> so that makes the front end on this much sharper, much quicker to steer than the RS660. But I can tell by stepping on this now, it's not as flighty as the Triumph. The riding position on the street, you're very upright you're more upright than the Tuono. Your legs are in a similar position, a bit, the pegs are forward a little bit more compared perhaps to the Tuono. The bars are in a very similar position, but that front wheel is a little bit less feedback from the front wheel, I would suggest. The front feels a little bit lighter. I know I mentioned on the Tuono, the wheel is pulled back. The rake is reduced as much as possible to give you a bit of weight over the front, but you've definitely got less weight over the front wheel, I think, on the street. Which maybe gives it a little, little bit less precise feeling from the front end. Maybe it dances around a little bit more. The suspension on this bike is not fully adjustable. It's only adjustable for damping, front and back. And it's only got an adjuster in one fork leg as well. So on paper, the suspension on this isn't as top spec as the Street Triple R. Street Triple R obviously has show upside down forks, fully adjustable for rebound dampening, compression damping. This has slightly less adjustable suspension, but I, 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 I do feel the suspension on this feels nicer than the Street Triple R. I don't know whether it's just got a better base setup. There's not as much adjustability, but there's just a better base setup. There's no quick shift or blipper on this standard. That's an optional extra. I don't know how much it is either, but uh, it doesn't come stock like it does on the street. <laughs> it's 
still got a bit of go though. Oh, that blipper's nice. <laughs> You've definitely got more punch. So first gear will lift the wheel, no problem at all. This is 77 newton meters of torque. Well, the Torono is 67. Whoa, wheel comes up at first gear, lovely. Lovely on the power. So I said it was punchy, didn't I? I'm surprised that that pulled up like that then. Yeah, you know what? The, it, I think this does handle better. This gives you more confidence, let's say, than the street. The suspension feels more premium on this, even though it isn't. I think it's just a better base setup. The front brakes are also nicer on this. You know, that they've, it's, a, it's, a, it's a 10 millimeter bigger front disc. It's also got a Brembo master cylinder and they give, oh, the, the power is way better. The, the, the Street Triple R brakes felt a little bit wooden in comparison to those. The Street Triple R does have the conventional old street dashboard. So you've got an analog rev counter, which actually I like. I like analog rev counters. Call me old fashioned, call me old school but I do like them. What I don't like so much is LCDs. You're very limited of what information you can provide on the screen with an LCD. And I've got this in the sport mode. I've just tried to go into the rider mode to turn off the traction control so we can have a few wheelies, but I can't figure out how to do it. I don't know how you do it. I'm pushing buttons together. I can't turn off the traction control so we can have and enjoy some of that front wheel lifting that these bikes are renowned for. I can't work it out. You know, it, it's, it's, it's much harder to navigate menus and stuff when you've got an LCD, but I really like the analog gauge. My perfect solution would be an analog ref counter with a TFT instead of an LCD to give you all the other information. That would be amazing. Uh, what are you doing? You're being a bit of an idiot, aren't you? A little bit of an idiot there, aren't you? This time. Ooh, sound good. Gets the wheel up over the bumps and stuff. This is a this spike is so punchy, so powerful for a 660. It's way, way more power, way more power than it deserves to have. It's a little bit weaker in the mid-range like that third gear when you're opening it up. You know the street will pull quicker away. But there's a lot of punch on here, a lot of punch. The bikes weigh a very similar amount. Unfortunately, the Aprilia give their weights wet on the Tuono and Triumph give them dry on the street. So this is 177 kilos dry and the Tuono is 183 kilos wet. So if anything, I would say the Tuono might be slightly lighter overall but it's very very close there's really not much in it and i never would have thought this would be the the more nimble bike out of the two but it absolutely is it gives it gives amazing confidence that is the thing with this it gives amazing confidence to push on i think that's partly because the front brake feels so so nice also the suspension this bumpy road felt like it was sort of pushing the street triple r out of its comfort zone on this it's taking me on to go faster whereas the street was telling me to slow down this is telling me chopsy you can push it a bit further aprilia have really balanced this bike beautifully i have to say they really have. The suspension is also perhaps a little bit softer on this. I mean, I haven't played with the Twiddlies. You know, that could be improved. I'm a big guy. You know, I'm 18 and a half stone, six foot two. So I'm a big guy and I think I feel like I could be overwhelming the suspension a little bit on this. It can get a little bit crashy. It could need hardening up a little bit front end feel is definitely, I don't think, quite as nice. 
I want to get in front of you, Mr. Transporter. It's got plenty of this, you know. On its side, it just feels beautiful. Very, very stable, very, you know, lovely. Absolutely beautifully balanced, this bike. I think Aprilia have really nailed this machine from a balance and poise point of view. It is very, very nice. For a bike which is A2 compatible, <laughs> it's incredible. I have to say, ultimate handling, poise and agility, it goes to the Tuono. Electronics wise, the Tuono has more electronics, more sophisticated electronics. Even though both bikes don't have IMUs, the electronics on the Tuono are more modern. I mean, this bike is £9,100, which is, you know, that's, that is an amazing value, you know. £9,100, this is a lot of bike for £9,100 more look at the deer running across the road watch these buggers you don't want to get hit by one of these stupid creatures no more is there you don't want to run into one of them i can tell you that if you want wheelies if you want hooliganism you can't beat that extra 100 horsepower you know for popping the front up if you want a wheelie bike it's, it's this one out the two that extra power gives it that extra bit of punch. It's undeniable, you know. But of course, this bike isn't A2, whereas a Tuono can be made A2. You can't on this, but you know, you can't deny that that extra 100 horsepower is faster. It, it's more pull, it's higher top end. It's better at pulling wheelies. You know, it, it's, it's undeniable. The quick shifter and blipper standard for 9,100 is also really good i said the tuono's 9700 and then the quick shifter blipper is an extra i don't even know how much it is but it's going to probably be a couple of hundred hundred pounds and that's going to be pushing that bike very very close to ten thousand pounds you're paying extra to have your bikes made in europe the, tri the triumphs are made in thailand you know so that that brings some cost savings that's you know people moan oh they're made in thailand but this is why this bike is £9,100 and the Aprilia is £9,700. That's what happens. You can't moan that you want your bikes built in England or in Italy and then when they're more expensive, then complain they're too expensive. It's one or the other. <laughs> you can't have your cake and eat it. Even if you love cake. What I wish Aprilia had done is left the IMU on this bike left the quick shifter and blipper on this bike but just made this 97 just made it 500 pound cheaper than the rs660 but leave it as the same spec okay do your changes to the suspension if you must but leave the imu on leave the quick shifter and blipper on i mean this is more of the you know, this is the more of the hooligan bike out the two surely the tuono is the hooligan so it really needs the imu you need to be able to turn off your wheelie and traction control Separately, you know, if you use it on any of the two bikes, it's this one. I don't know why they took the IMU off. Should have left it on and just made this 97. Comfort. This has more room in the seat. If you're a bigger guy like me, a big fatty, you know, I can move back on this bike. I, I can move back and forward in the seat. I can't do that on the Tuono. I'm locked into the Tuono. Getting off the bike, you know, moving around, getting, if you want to take these on track, the Tuono has a nicer feel for getting out of the seat and locking your leg. And I love the shape of the Tuono tank. It's very, very nice. This isn't quite as nice to climb around on as the Tuono is. Whether that's the, whether that's the position of the pegs, because I think they're a bit further back, or the tank's more sticky out here to get your knee under, not sure. But the Tuono feels nicer to clamber around on, get your knee down, but you've not got as much room back and forth in the seat. Oh, it 
it's got a lot of top end on this. Woo! It is a much faster bike. Oh dear. That'd be a police car. <laughs> Chopsy, that were a bit silly, wasn't it? <laughs> When you pull onto the motorway, giving it some razzle-dazzle, and there's a police car right there. Oops. Oh, blip skis. I mean, both these bikes are very, very good. You know, ridden in isolation, you'll be absolutely happy. With either of these, it's got some punch this. This has got some punch. It really has. That extra 100 cc's is incredible, the extra punch that gives you. You know, that this is uh, head and shoulders quicker than the Tuono, I think. So which one do I prefer? It's very, very difficult to say. Obviously, you can't, de you can't deny the fact that this one, that the, the Street Triple, is 500, what is it, 500, 600 pounds cheaper than the Tuono. And it comes with a quick shifter and blipper, which works very, very well. You can't deny that is a bargain. This is, this does seem a bargain in comparison with the Tuono. It's undeniable. I think it all comes down to what you want from your bike. For me, when I go out and ride, I want something which just hand, gives me the ultimate handling the ultimate feel, the ultimate feedback, that's what I look for when I go for a ride. It doesn't have to be the fastest thing in the world, but as to handle, you know, I ride for pleasure. I don't commute, you know, this, so this, this is the things which matter to me. And compared to the Street Triple R, this bike is more sporty feeling and better handling. I think, you know, to be honest, I think you could pair, compare this to the RS version of, of the Street maybe a better comparison that's how well set up and poised this bike is the rs could be a better comparison if you want something just for performance and, and handling so the street triple r is fantastic and it is better value for money than this without question it's better value for money than this this bike even though you know it's nine seven and people have said you know well you know the trident it's just, it's two grand more expensive than the trident than the mt07 it is in a different league to the Trident and the MT-07 from a performance point of view. And yeah, I'd much, I'd, I'd rather spend an extra £2,000 on this than the Trident. The Trident's brilliant, but it's more of an all-rounder, you know, a commuter. You know, you know, I say happy shopper is probably not doing it a bit of disservice, but it's not as much as a focused performance machine as this. You know, this bike is it's like a chicken. So fantastic as the Street Triple R is, for my money, for what I want a bike for, I'd go for the Tuono. But that isn't to say that wouldn't be the right choice for you. <laughs> That's because just of the way I use my motorcycles. Some massive, massive thanks to Wheels Motorcycles for lending me the Tuono. They've also lent me the RS660, so I've done a first ride on that. I'll stick a video link at the top if you want to see what I thought to the RS660. A massive, massive thank you to Destination Triumph for lending me the Street Triple R. The first time I've ridden the Street Triple R and it is a lovely bike and a, an absolute bargain for the, for the money. So Street Triple R, massive thanks to Destination Triumph. But thanks for watching guys, as always, really appreciate it. And I will see you soon on the next video. Take care. Cheers. This is power level one, which is full power. <laughs> Bad, I could do that all day. What have you done here? <laughs> I told you I was scared back there. I've never dropped a bike before in my life. Oh! Backfire! That's it! That's it! <laughs> Listen to this. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>